So I'm sitting here at Golden Nugget here in Chicago, the one on Lawrence, and I am thinking about a problem that arose last night with a friend of mine where I had to go and pick um, him and his sister up from a place because he was supposed to be staying, she was supposed to be staying with somebody and then she turned a little bit um, different, but I don't know the whole story, but I just want us to make this video on something very quickly about the fact that, and also I had this meeting yesterday with Refuse um, Fascism in Chicago, and they were talking about how the silence that we exhibit or show um, when it comes to social justice or just being a moral person and standing up for what's right um, is just as bad as not acting because it is an act of not acting when you're silent and um, I've finally been able to locate I guess in my brain where my frustration comes from with certain people that um, I felt I felt really triggered today by the conversation yesterday because there was someone in my life that I feel didn't stand up for me and was not there for me in times of need and um, when it came to acts of like actual um, like standing up for what was right and, and they chose to actually stay comfortable and say well I didn't want to make it awkward and these things and that's not even the point like you have to make things awkward sometimes it has to be hard sometimes because that is the only way that you can get through difficult times. I mean, if we were all moral people and we all went through and, and, and focused on like our moral compass and looking at humanity as a whole instead of our separate little pockets and beings, then I don't think that we would have to stand up against things that we see and for our neighbor. And it would be easy, but it's not easy because it's not common to stand up against, um, stand against things that are wrong and to stand for things that are right. So... Um, that's my, my thing today. I think that you, you can't be silent when it comes to things that you see. Um, you have to speak out against things that you see. You have to protest. You have to be out there doing things. And especially when it comes to people that are close to you, uh, you have to stand up for them, even if it's hard. Um, and you have to weigh the pros and cons of humanity and of different people because some people just are not going to be on your side. Some people are just not going to be on your side. But the side of what's right is always the right side. And everybody kind of knows that because there are norms of society and how society goes in terms of how you treat people. Um, but yeah, I just felt like I was annoyed by what I saw with um, a friend of mine and what I saw with myself and how I was treated and how my friend was treated. And I looked at the commonality and I was like, this is a problem. People are silent, too, too silent because they're afraid to stay on their own. They're afraid to, they're, they're afraid to walk over. They're afraid to like, mess with the ego of like, oh, I want to be liked by everybody, and you can't be liked by everybody, there's just no way. So, um, anyways, I'm really thinking about how I can bring people back to consciousness, and how we can bring people back to thinking about, like, the whole instead of themselves, because that's the problem. I think that's one of the main problems, that people think so much about themselves and not about the other person. I understand that we all have these things going on, like finances, career, um, families, all these different things, but those are always going to be there like when are you going to stand up for those that are not as close to you um so yeah